everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, we made our way here onto Route 5, even fighting our rival Hop for the fourth time here on this bridge, and even getting some sick new Pokemon, such as Applin, a grass type, a grass dragon type, and even getting Patty a gift Pokemon, a Poison Electric type. That's insane. There's just so many cool Pokemon in this game and awesome typings. I can't wait to start each episode and see what lies in store for us next. That's exactly what we're doing here. We haven't finished Route 5 yet, and there is still a bit to go here, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing to start this episode off. So, on Route 5 over here, we've got ourselves another trainer battle. The same Pokemon that we've been seeing, but... There might be something new in the grass. An Absorb Bulb. That's pretty use, really useful, potentially. It could be really good in a Nuzlocke or something. Another Dottler. Dottler. I keep wanting to call him Doddle. Doddle, but add the R. Right. R your dot. You know what I'm saying? Instead of dot, you tease. You R your dot. Dottler. You know what I'm saying? Never mind. Anyways, let's do one more encounter. Um, and then go ahead and fight that trainer. It's another Dottler. That's fine. I keep feeling like I'm going to find a shiny Dottler. I'm going to be opposed. Like, I don't really want a Dottler. I like Dottler. Dottler's a really cool Pokemon. I like the design. I like I like Charger Bug quite a bit. But, and Vika Volt was cool too. Alright, we'll fight you. And, and so I don't have to fight this Stuffle. Work the raise the good points of Pokemon. Don't, don't worry about its bad points. I got bad points. I got good and bad. Oh, I'm sorry, breeders. You guys got the bad end of the design stick. I apologize to you, Denise. She's got a Cheruby. My type of lady. Loving her Cherub. I'd love to use Cheruby. I would. But that's gonna... I'll probably use a Cherim on my team in my sword playthrough, since I'll that'll be my second playthrough. That sounds super probable, because I won't be picking Grookey, obviously, since I picked Grookey here. Um... I'm really looking forward to that playthrough already. Like, this game is really fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. I can't wait to do a Nuzlocke or Wedlock, too, in the future. All right, McLovin hit level 21. Might be the level. I don't know. I've heard some things that some Pokemon are really hard to evolve in this game. Like, people just couldn't figure it out. So that does kind of concern me. So I'm not going to be opposed to taking Pokemon I'm trying to evolve off the team for something else. I'm just not going to think about it. So McLovin's gone. As soon as I find something else I want. Even if it's not evolved. I'll find its evolution later on in the game, probably. I'm really not concerned. Molly's going to hit level 24 in the process. And let's learn knockoff. Very cool. I wonder if it's a grass dark type. Just because it learned a, a dark type attack. You know, it's the first type of attack Molly's learned other than normal and grass. So, it's possible. Uh, knockoff's really good in this game. Um, I'll get rid of magical leave. Eh. Eh, those eight points make Magical Leaf not that much worse than Razor Leaf. So, I'll go ahead and get rid of Razor Leaf for knockoff. It could be a really useful attack to have, especially for gyms. So, there we go. That's it for Denise the Breeder. She had herself a Truby. I like Truby. Glad to see it. Not interested in them. That person up there looks interesting. Like, the blonde. He looks like somebody that would have some cool Pokemon. It's a girl, I think. Yeah, that's a girl. Okay, we'll fight her. <laughs> that's definitely a woman. I apologize. You look like a dude from afar. Not she definitely doesn't up front. Office worker Gabrielle. All right, she's doing the ooh ooh face. Did you see it? She's got a Krogunk. What's up? My type of lady? Krogunk is sick. And also pretty good against Karincha. But not if it has dry skin. Do you have dry skin? You do not have dry skin. You probably would have died. <laughs> and gonna poison sting me. But please, I'm begging. No, why you poison my carcal? It's not nice. It's just not nice. Oh man, I hope Karincha evolves. Like Carcal evolves without like a trade or something. Anything but a trade. Something like I don't want to trade somebody for. I wouldn't mind testing it, but. I don't know. I don't, I'd have to con bug one of my friends. I don't want to do that. I'll figure it out. I wish I could just do it myself, but I don't have a second Switch. That's a problem I've never had. I always have several DSs, but 
No second switch. All right, Pokemon that appear to be surrounded by a brilliant aura tend to be stronger than others. And when you defeat them, they drop blocks. It seems more likely you can spot these brilliant Pokemon the more Pokemon you catch. Yeah, I thought they would be stronger. Well, that's it? Yeah, because remember the um, uh, Roly Coley we found that was glowing? Uh, we caught it. It had Explosion, which mine hasn't tried to learn. So I think they can have Egg Moves, which is sweet. All right, one more encounter here, and then we're going to go on. Another Dottler. I'm done with Dottler. <laughs> I've seen too many. All right, Grinch, uh, crush this bug for me. I don't like him. Um, yeah, we'll just rock blast it. And call it a day for this Doppler. This is the Doppler radar, you know what I'm saying? Please, just do not to hit. Thank you. There you go, Doppler. All right. And we're going to make it on to Nessa City. Hopefully, we can go on to another area, because I want to look for more Pokemon. That's, like, the best part for me right now. Getting to see all those super cool new Pokemon is absolutely fun. There's so many really cool old Pokemon to use, too, like Clink early on, Spritzy, Swirlix probably, and Zord. I'm just, oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, and that is, now we can make our way to Holberry. I bet we can go south before uh, we fight Nessa. That'd be nice. There's that elephant that we saw at the start. I don't know what that Pokemon is yet, so I'd love to find out. Hopefully we can find one of those here soon. By talking to it, maybe it'll register in the Pokedex and let us see the habitat. It's a possibility. All right, what do we have here? Welcome to the town of Holbury, a bustling seaport that many visit to see its lively market stalls and famed restaurant. All right. Oh, there's that lady. Let's see what's going on there. But first, let's go to the Pokemon Center. I want that Galarian Audino. I know it is. I know that's a Galarian Audino. I know it. And I'm going to be right. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to be right. And it's like Nurse Joy's sad because she doesn't have her Audino anymore. But that guy has one instead. Dude. I don't know who we're going to use. Like, Toxel could be like a, a team member. But then I could find an electric type I like way more. You know, that's the hard problem with this. Like, I don't know because I didn't spoil myself all the Pokemon. So I didn't build a team ahead of time. Which, it's an interesting experience, but it's going to be a completely different playthrough than I normally ever would do. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how this all pans out. Alright, let's go see what Oleana's up to. We haven't heard her name yet, though, in the game. Our sincerest apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. That's what disperse means. Did, did you do that for the kids? You know what I'm saying? I think she's the one up to badness. Yeah, no need to rush off. I can still do Yeah, he's like a good guy, I think. But she's probably pretty bad. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. You're chasing them off like that. Aren't you being a bit too harsh, Oleana? Fans are very important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work for their sake. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you were? Bead, sir. He didn't even recognize the loser. Absolutely funny. That's right, Bead. I dare say I'm impressed how hard you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to win my, the gin challenge? Or perhaps it will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion. I will prove your faith in me was well placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone. Anyway, I'll be on my way now. Yeah, Bead's all cool in front of Chairman. Oh, I'm so excited to see what's going on with those guys. Ah, your name was Chroma, right? We were just talking about you. I admit I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. I just had a good idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face Gym Leader Nessa soon, right? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I'd like to know you a little better, after all. Chairman, we really should be going. Dude, she's like so pushy. Please do your best for the sake of Galar's future. Yeah, I don't think he's bad. I would be shocked if there's something up with him. It's definitely her. Like the secretary doing something super bad behind that dude's back. I could totally see it. All right. That's a little cutscene. Good to see. Can we go this way? Please let me go this way. I will be so happy. Oh, an item. A magnet. Ooh, that would probably be pretty good for... Yeah, let's go ahead and give that to uh, uh, Patty really quick. All right, Patty, go ahead. Hold this magnet. I am ready. Yeah, magnet. Is Rare Candy just a one level still? Yeah, all right. Just making sure, because of the candies, I don't know. What would have changed there? It could have been like a big boost of XP or something. Uh, Rotom bike. Yeah, let's clear these. All right. And that'll boost Nuzzle. I mean... 
It's something, right? What do you have to say? You got a Mancino interested in trading it for my cottony? Nah, I'm good. I wonder if... Yeah, cottony's probably not. Oh, the incense! Sweet. Um... Can't really see a need for any of these, but that's cool that you can buy them. Market stalls, they were talking about. I feel like the time you spend trying to make your mind up is the true essence in shopping. What is it now? All right, what do you have to say? You'll have no trouble in the gym challenge if you take the time to train up now. Can I go south of here and catch more Pokemon? I would like to do that. The steaks aren't that bad when you cook with your mates. At least they make for funny stories. You sell stuff? Yeah, you sell herbs. All right, not interested. I don't want to lower my Pokemon's happiness when somebody could potentially have to evolve with happiness. It's something I'd like to avoid for now until I know better. All right, let's go this way. Hopefully it'll let me go. Hey, there's this thing. Trum. Galar Mine number two is a good spot. It's full of rock solid Pokemon. There's another mine? Oh, dude, they're not going to let me through. Ah, oh, we're blocking up this route to get in the way of gym challengers. Dude, I have no interest. I want to find more Pokemon. It's sad, really, blocking off my way. It's very linear. I wouldn't have minded if they let you just go, like, a little bit of the new areas. But, I mean, it makes sense. Another Shell Bell. Okay, well, not a Shell Bell. Not another Shell Bell. A Shell Bell. I've been talking a lot. This is episode 10 I've recorded in a row. It's, it's gonna happen because I want to. <laughs> I want to play. And I've never done. A, I'm not gonna like just do two episodes a day. Are you kidding me? Can we go in here? Well, the chairman was quite clear. Get your water badge at once, dude. She's an absolute dick. Like, let's just be honest with ourselves. But I mean, look at her. She's allowed to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a pole there, bud. Yeah. Four eyes. Look at him. It's like I'm gonna go through here. Conk. conk. It's like. The one place there's a pole I happen to run into. I can go in the houses. I walk in on something I should, probably shouldn't have walked in on. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a mirror. I thought she was changing or something. <laughs> Basically. All right. Don't want to walk in on no ladies changing. Knock first, please. It's always a good idea. What's a bundle be? Diggy diggy. What are you? Your TV's off. Maybe you want to do this. There you go. I fixed it. Is she smiling now? What's she? No, she just smiles when I come by. Yeah. Bruh. Have you ever heard of recycling? Look at this. Look at this woman. Throwing her plastic bottles in the garbage. You should be ashamed of yourself. Like, actually? <laughs> I mean, I throw them on the floor. So. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just for now, because I'm recording. I got stuff to do. What are you? Not a single bite today. I need to polish my gear. Yeah, I've had nothing but magic carp. I can totally relate. I wish she'd, like, give me a new rod or something. That'd be sick. All right, last house. What we got? It's a Swirlix. What's up? That's probably sword only, like I said. Taking care of the house when mom and dad are out. This is, like, super child abuse. These two should not be left alone. Like, I just stormed inside. Doors unlocked. I don't know. TV's not even on. What are they doing? <laughs> like, what kid watches nothing while they're home alone? Let's think about that one. All right, in the last house, what do we got? We got two people. We got this guy. Don't catch too many Pokemon. I, I literally read that as don't catch too many Pokemon, they'll delete the save file. I actually read it like that. It freaked me out. Okay. I was like, holy shit, is that a thing? Can you not? That's scammy. All right, up the steps. What is this? I've got high hopes for you. I mean, I say that to every challenger. So do you really have high hopes for anyone? If you say that to absolutely everyone. It's like when you call a shiny every single Pokemon. Are you really ever going to call the shiny if you say it every time? Yeah, I can sit down. 2x speed. Okay, what do we got? Two more houses and then the station. And then we can take on the gym. Oh, she's got Wooper. Why did they have to make the cut? Yo. Did you just yo me? Yo, Gar, so, T. <laughs> Wait, what? It's hard to tell Uber male or female. Can you do it? Yeah, I can, actually. That's sick. See, this one has the shorter things. I don't know which one's which, but I know. I'm pretty sure the one that's female would be the shorter one, but I don't know for certain, honestly. That's cool. And we got another lady not watching TV. Do you think they'd turn the TV on? Isn't that kind of sad? 
Is there recipes in here? The music here reminds me of XD. Gale of Darkness. Coliseum. Those games. It sounds like the Ocean Side Town or whatever. We got two kids in here. What's up? Even if you don't actually battle, simulating different battle strategies in your mind can be fun too. Oh yeah. Wait, what? Aw. He's talking about Unova. He's talking about the battle subway. That's really cool. That's our reference in that. All right. I think all that remains now is the gym challenge, and we've not done that much this episode, so I guess it's time to take on the second gym of the game. Unless there's something I'm really missing. Nessa's really stoic about Pokemon. She's made her gym mission really tough. I remember when I did the gym challenge, I never did get the water badge. These two must have sucked, right? Is there anything over here? Maybe there's a route that I can explore. It's a lighthouse. All right, we'll check that in a minute. We'll go down here really quick to the docks. Okay, I can do fishing. There's got to be something better than Magikarp in here. There has to be. Give me a Delmize. That'd be cool. Delmize this early on in the game. I would be super cool, stoked about that. Dude, something other than a Choodle. Everything's a Choodle. Like... I haven't found anything new in the water. Am I just getting, like, unbelievably unlucky or what? I'm going to fish in each spot, and then I'm done. Like, fishing sucks. I want to find a Pokemon in the water like this that is so sick. I've never seen. That's not something I've never seen. It is new. But it's not a new Pokemon. It's something I haven't found yet. I'm surprisingly able to run away. I'm getting pretty lucky, I'm guessing. Okay. New Galar water type. Please. Give me something. No Choodle. No Magikarp. No Chinchou. <laughs> right? Lantern's cool, I guess, to get at this point in the game. It'd be pretty cool. I guess it would, could be your encounter for Hullberry, since what else would you get here, right? Unless there's something in the water I'm just not knowing about. Come on, give me something wicked. You know, I'm gonna do one more spot. Then we're gonna go to the lighthouse. <laughs> Hopefully the lighthouse doesn't have any Mareep. I doubt Mareep's in the game since we've got Wooloo. Which is, oh man, if Ampharos was cut from the entire game, I would be so happy. Imagine that. Being able to play the game and never see that long naked cheek. It'd be sick. All right, Choodle. I'm already sick of Choodle. I love him. He's super cool, but he's everywhere. I can't get away from the kid. All right, we're going to put Molly up front because Molly, you know, water types. It's going to be common here, I'm guessing. Patty's, like, probably close to being able to fight. Once Patty evolves. Probably evolves twice, and I'd like her to be able to be a little stronger. Galar's a huge item. Oh, a huge island. Lighthouses have always been really important helping ships find their way. Yeah, this lighthouse doesn't need an Ampharos. If there's an Ampharos at the top, I'll be s Oh, there's a... There's a Wingall at the top. You can't write that stuff, dude. The two Pokemon I hate more than anything, Wingall and Ampharos. There's an Ampharos at the top of a lighthouse in one Pokemon game. And then at the top of the lighthouse in this game's a Wingall. That's cute. All right, there's Nessa. Dude, she looks sick. Like, she's dope. Really dope. Look at this. You must be a gym challenger, right? How did you know? You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? You become something of a hot topic along the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Fabulous. I already heard about you, so you should learn more about me, too. Nessa's League card. Cool. I like that you get to meet them outside of the gym. That's super cool. It's like engaging. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more. And I'm itching for a battle with you. All right. I'm looking forward to battling you too, Nessa. Let's do this. All right. I can't go up the lighthouse. So, it's time. Let's check out Nessa's League card and take on the second gym of the game. All right. Yeah. League cards. Nessa. Dude, she's really badass. Like, I, like... Not to get weird, but you know how, like, some people are like, okay, this is my, you know, like, I like Skyla. Some people are like, oh, I really like Nessa. Now, I don't like Nessa that way, but I do like Nessa. She's bad, you know? She's sick. 
She's cool, calm, collected. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what her card says. Uh, her father is a fisher and her mother works in the marketplace. Perhaps because of her parents, she grew up playing with water type Pokemon and eventually made it all the way to being a gym leader. She met Sonya during their gym challenge and they continue to be close friends. Nessa often gives Sonya fresh seafood from Holberry. She has declared that Milo of Turfield is a rival, but Milo responded by saying that his rival is himself. Dude, I look so badass on my lead card. I can't wait to get like all black clothing and just stand there like a big boss rocket. Nothing's biting. Okay. Go on. <laughs> get out of here, lady. All right. Gym time. Let's do it. Nobody interrupt me. Just let me take on the Holberry Stadium in peace. Let's do this. All right. I wonder what her challenge is going to be like. Let's talk to the ball guy. He's going to give me a lure ball. Yeah, he is. All right. I called it. Not that it was really, you know, difficult to call, but... He's weird. <laughs> Look at him just stand there like that. A challenger. All right, we have to say, dude, are they just say the same stuff? Yeah, they're looking at it. There's this girl with the bug again. Everybody, she has the bug at both places already. Can I not talk to you, trainer? There you go. Challenger Chroma, beat Nessa, okay? I will. Why do we have to figure out a puzzle just to face the gym leader? Maybe to tell the trainers that we need to have some mental flexibility. Number 103 is not very good at the game. All right. It might be a good idea to think ahead about which Pokemon are able to withstand Nessa's max moves. Yeah, I think my starter would be fine. Nessa's strong, and that's what's beautiful. That's cute. They're like, trying to talk about why they like her. That, that's funny. All right. Pokemart. Anything to buy here? Nothing I need. I might need super potions, but we'll figure that out in due time. All right, uniform shop. What do we want to wear? Do we want to wear a new uniform? Because I could buy one. Oh, the electric. I bet that gym's ace is Toxel Evolution. That'd be cool. Flying uniform. Eh, I don't have any interest in any of these uniforms. I like the base one for now. Um, all right, let's do it. Hey there, Gym Challenger. Shall we start the process to get you ready for the gym mission? Let's do it. That's right. You'll have to change in your uniform. Let's do it. Can I change into the grass one? Is it going to let me? Give me the option? Nah, not yet. I think I have to do that somewhere else. All right, you're in your uniform. Head into the gym mission. By the way, while you're on the gym mission, you can't use your Pokemon Box Link. That's fine. I don't have any interest in using the Box Link, lady. What do I look like? A cheater? 280 is storming the building. Let's do this. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see what this gym puzzle is all about it looks so cool it looks like an actual water park like it looks real that's cool i like this one a lot already i've seen this though in the uh, trailers and stuff or in footage but i haven't seen uh the puzzle itself i don't know how it works holberry's pokemon gym mission is this a challenging maze and you must reach the goal to clear the mission however some pads in the maze are blocked by water should you do then? Try pressing the red button over there, and I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. Aw, he's the champ and making guy. I'm proud of him. He believes in me to beat Leon. He's a fool. <laughs> right? For, like, what they've talked about. You'd be kind of foolish to think that I could win. All right, let's fight this guy. This girl. Welcome to the Holberry Stadium. Ready to bask in the beauty of water-type moves? Show me a water-type I've never seen before, Julia. Show me something amazing. That's a temper. Temple's cool. Dude, I could use a Seisma Toad in one of my future playthroughs. That'd be so cool. Let's show him our stuff, Molly. Magical Leaf. See you later, Temple. It's not... Yeah, it's a ground type, right? It might be. I don't remember. It's one of those things I always forget, but I think it's a ground type by now. Or always, rather. And it's it for Julia. All right. Let's go ahead and push that button and see what this puzzle's all about. I'm guessing the red one turns off this, all right, I get it. I, uh, this is going to be a simple puzzle. All right, that's going to switch it over to the other yellow one. There we go. Dude, this puzzle is really cool. I love the colors, the water, the sounds, the look. This looks brilliant. I don't know why people are so harsh about this game. Like, this is really cool. All right, let's fight this one. I'm going to guess her name is Chloe. Heather. Okay. 
you know, probably wouldn't have got that. Oh, a Krabby! Krabby's in the game! I was, like, prepared to see a Galarian Krabby, not gonna lie. But yeah, Krabby's cool. Magical Leaf. I don't know why I didn't move it to the front yet, but I'm guessing we'll get a better Grass-type attack than that soon. And, oh man, I can't wait to see Grookey's final evolution. It's gonna be so cool. Patty's gonna hit level 19. Hopefully Patty evolves during the gym and I'd be able to use her against Nessa. That'd be really cool. And a Corefish. We've already seen Corefish in the wild area, so not too much of a surprise there. Magical Leaf's obviously gonna one-shot this thing. They're not too specially defensive. That's why I guess Magical Leaf would be better than Razor Leaf for this gym, so I don't regret getting rid of it. And nobody else levels up. Awesome. All right. Are they all girls in here, too, I'm, I'm guessing? Like, I know the entry guy was a guy, but, it, you know, it would make sense because, like, Nessa, you know, all of her girlfriends and stuff in the gym, and they all have bathing suits on. That'd be kind of neat. All right, switch that over. Then use the red one. And I'll switch it over there, and you go around like, yeah, I'm already out predicting the puzzle before I even trial and error. Like, I just didn't even bother pushing the button the first time because I know how the game would probably go. All right, now we have a blue switch to throw it in the mix. It's kind of like Crasher Wake's gym in a way. Like, slightly, I guess. Is this the exit or something? Maybe. I'm not too sure. We're not wanting to go to the exit yet, though. We want to fight this girl. We'll push the button first, though. Pretty certain I'm right. And then we'll be able to access the blue one. But I want to go down there first to double check if there's anything I'm missing. Let's go with Smith. Lynn. Not even close. All right, Remoraid's in the game. Glad to see it. Remoraid would have been sick. I wonder if we'll see a Galarian form that I was spoiled by. This would be the gym for it. I didn't mean to use double hit. That's unfortunate. Will you still two shot? Unfortunately not. I'm going to take damage. Did it use... Okay, I was going to say, did it use Scald? Whirlpool. That's fine. That's just wasting time. But we get to see Whirlpool's animation. It's neat, I suppose. All right. And then knock off. Maybe it has an item. And if so, we'll know about it. No, it did not. Alright, what Pokemon do you have? Karincha, Grudo 25. Toodle. I'm sick of seeing it. Like, it's such a cool design, but I'm actually sick of seeing that thing's face. I've seen it so many times while fishing. It's getting on my nerves. Whatever. We were able to one-shot it. Take it out. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. All this talking. I tell you, I love it. But it's a lot of effort when you don't have anything to drink. All right, Karis hit level 19. And that's it for Lynn. All right, probably one more trainer if I had to guess. But I could totally see there not being any more. Just Nessa. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. I don't think I even need to hit that, do I? Maybe. It's going to put it right here, isn't it? Okay, so I wasn't supposed to hit the red switch. You got me. Like, oh, I am. I have to hit the blue switch first, then no. All right, what are we doing? <laughs> um, Maybe I just don't need the yellow switch at all. Maybe it's just bait. No, I do, because I've got to hit the yellow switch now. All right, what are we doing here? I'm disappointed. I've been baited. Hit the blue switch. We gotta hit that at some point. So hit the red switch now. Alright. Now we go hit the yellow switch. Then the red switch. Then the blue switch. And then we're done. Not a hard puzzle. But it's a cool puzzle. Regardless. Alright. Red switch. Blue switch. Nessa. Yeah, we gotta go the long way around. Which I suppose is fine. Oh, no, we don't. Alright, it opened the way. And it's got, like, the four pillars. Like, two on this side, two on that side. Looks cool. Let's go ahead and heal up, since I'm not gonna use items in battle. Or at least try not to. Let's heal up Molly. And... It's time for Nessa! Let's do it! I'm excited! The gym challenge has been complete. All right, time to walk on stage with Nessa. It's time for our second gym of the game. All right, number 280, let's walk on stage.
Welcome, honored gym challenger. I think you already realize, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. <laughs> All right, time for our second gym challenge of this Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play versus Nessa, the water type gym leader, number 49 of the Galar region in Hoberry City. Let's do this. All right, first up is gonna be Goldeen. It's a water type and I'm gonna need your help, Molly. Let's do this. All right, I started with you. You're super effective against water. This is where Grookey Yang is gonna shine. All right, Molly, let's hit this thing with a magical leaf. Hit this thing as hard as you can and get rid of it immediately. And that's it for Goldeen. Dude, the music is insane for the gym. I love this. That's gonna take Molly straight to level 25. And next is Aerocuda. I've never seen it before. And I'm incredibly excited to find out what it is. All right, Aerocuda. Oh, it's that fish we saw earlier. That was a Pokemon. All right, I like it. Let's hit this thing with a magical leaf, Molly. It is super effective, and that's it for Aracuda. Nice work, Ma! All right, one Pokemon remains, and that's gonna be her ace. And it's Dreadnought, as we saw in the trailers. And I'm gonna stay in command. Molly, this fight's all on you. It's like, I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last, she says. It's her ace, Dreadnought. It's a water rock type, level 24. I think it's a water rock type. And I'm not gonna Dynamax, just like I didn't against Milo but she most certainly will. And we're gonna have to take whatever she throws our way. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, it's time to Dynamax. All right. I don't know what it's gonna do to me, but hopefully Molly can take the hit. This is what that Choodle becomes, I think. We'll find out afterwards in the Pokedex. All right, Molly. I'm putting you in danger on purpose because I know you can do it. Magically, we almost cleared it in a single shot. And it's going to go for max darkness. Hopefully, Molly can take it. And she did just nicely. Dynamaxing isn't necessary. Seems very underpowered to me. Or maybe my Pokemon are just that good. Because just like Chirincha, Molly cleaned this gym up. No problems at all. Without the need to go Hulk. See you later, Dreadnought and Nessa. Nice work, Molly. I love to see it. And Patty hits level 20, McLovin 22, and Potter 23. Love to see it. Maybe one of them will evolve after this fight, because that's it for Nessa. Nice work, Molly. Dude, I love Nessa. Her personality, her pose, all of it's super sick. That's it for the water type gym. Nobody's going to evolve, and that's it. How, how can this be? Now that I battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Yeah, we do. We're going to clean that undefeated win streak with ease. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. And we get our second gym badge of this Galar Region Gym Challenge. We got ourselves... The, what is it? <laughs> I have no idea. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next, as you and your Pokemon are now. He'll definitely want to battle you. All right, we got the water badge. I have no idea. And we get a TM for it. TM 36, Whirlpool, which I hope was buffed, because if not, it's bad. All right, four to five turns and a Whirlpool. Let's see the damage that it causes, because it's a water badge, yeah. I'll be watching to see how far you and your Pokemon can, do, can go. I want to talk to this girl really quick. Do you give me something? No, I was going to say, because, like, she was at the last one. All right, let's go ahead and check out the TM for Whirlpool, which is going to be 35 power. It's still bad. Why is that TM? <laughs> that seems really pathetic. Maybe it'd be good for competitive in some scenario. Who knows? So let's go ahead and check out this Choodle of Olden or Dreadnought. It's so obvious. But we gotta check anyways. It just seems obvious to me. Yeah, it does. There's Dreadnought. And no need to evolve Chew Bowman. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Cleaning up our second gym. 
Well, thanks to Molly and Karinsha have done two gyms together all by themselves without the need to Dynamax. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to crush that like button. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon videos like this and haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole. And until next time, me and my team, we'll see you here. Thank you so much for watching.